Media playback is unsupported on your device. Media caption eyewitness tells the BBC families were screaming for the kids. 13 people died and dozens were injured when a van ploughed into crowds in Barcelona's famous Las Ramblas area, Catalan police and local officials say. The rented vehicle sped along the pedestrian area that is popular with tourists mowing down people and sending others fleeing for cover. Spain's Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy said it was a jihadist attack. Two people have been arrested but police say neither was the driver who fled on foot. Early on Friday morning, Catalan police said an operation was taking place in town of Cambrils, to the southwest of Barcelona, in response to a possible terrorist attack and have told people there to stay indoors. The authorities also say an explosion on Wednesday evening at a house outside Barcelona that left one person dead was connected to the Las Ramblas attack. Dozens of gas cylinders were found at the house in the town of Alcana, about 100 kilometers 60 miles southwest of Barcelona, and Reuters quoted a police source as saying residents were preparing explosives. In another incident, police shot dead a man who drove into offices at a checkpoint on the outskirts of Barcelona, but the authorities said there was no evidence that he was connected to the attack in Las Ramblas. Police have released a photo of a man named as Tris Ubiquia, whose documents were used to rent the van involved in the attack. Local media say he is in his 20s, and was born in Morocco. However, latest reports suggest he has told police he was not involved, and that his documents were stolen. Image copyright Spanish National Police Handout Image Caption Police released this photo of Dris Ubiquia, whose documents were used to rent the van so-called Islamic State has said it was behind the van attack in Las Ramblas, saying in a brief statement carried by its AMAQ news agency that it was carried out by Islamic State soldiers. The group gave no further evidence or details to back this claim. The attack happened at the height of the season in one of Europe's top tourist destinations. Witnesses said the van deliberately targeted people, weaving from side to side as it drove down the boulevard. Vehicles have been used to ram into crowds in a series of attacks across Europe since July last year. Analysis A Worrying Trend Gordon Carrera, BBC News security correspondent Barcelona is just the latest European city to witness the terrible effects of a vehicle attack on an iconic soft target. In Nice a year ago, Bastille Day celebrations were targeted, then a Christmas market in Berlin. In London, Westminster and London Bridge, as well as Finsbury Park, saw cars and vans used as weapons. In the UK, new barriers have been put in place to mitigate some of the risks at key locations and there is discussion of imposing checks on those renting vans, but security services in Britain as well as across Europe are all too aware that there are limits to what they can do to spot and stop those planning murder in this way. The weapons employed are readily available and there is little or no training, coordination or planning required. This means there are few points where individuals can be spotted by the intelligence services. Although so-called Islamic State has released a statement saying what it calls its soldiers had carried out the Barcelona attack, it is not yet clear whether there was any direct link to the group or if they were simply inspired by its call to act. The language used often indicates the latter. Either way, authorities will be bracing themselves for the possibility of further attacks of a similar nature. What did people see? A businessman from New Orleans, who was just arriving in a taxi in Las Ramblas, said I heard a crowd screaming. It sounded like they were screaming for a movie star. I saw the van. It had already been busted on the front. It was weaving left and right trying to hit people as fast as possible. There were people lying on the ground. Media playback is unsupported on your device. Media caption footage shows police surrounding a white van moments after the attack. Our mayor Anwar said he was walking down Las Ramblas, which was jam-packed with tourists. All of a sudden, I just sort of heard a crashing noise and the whole street just started to run, screaming. I saw a woman right next to me screaming for her kids, he told Sky News. Police were very, very quickly there, police officers with guns, batons, everywhere. Then the whole street started getting pushed back. Police officers who got there just started screaming at people to move back, move back. Media playback is unsupported on your device. Media caption footage captures people using a shop as an escape route on Las Ramblas. Kevin Quast, who is on holiday in Barcelona with his family, said I was eating with my family in La Boqueria Market very near where the crash occurred. 
Hundreds of people started stampeding through the market. We started running with them going outside right into where casualties were already on the ground. Police pushed us into a money transfer shop and we've been sheltering there for over an hour. How have leaders reacted? Prime Minister Rajoy has travelled to Barcelona and declared three days of national mourning. Terrorists are defeated by unity, he said. Barcelona's mayor, Ada Colau, said the city would hold a minute of silence on Friday at midday. The United States has offered its assistance to Spain. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson also said consular assistance was being provided to Americans in the city, and urged U.S. nationals to check in with the families. Terrorists around the world should know the United States and our allies are resolved to find you and bring you to justice, he told reporters. UK Prime Minister Theresa May said her thoughts were with the victims, adding that the UK stands with Spain against terror. French President Emmanuel Macron said we remain united and determined. Las Rambla Central Boulevard that runs 1.2 kilometres 0.75 miles through the centre of Barcelona runs from the city's Placa de Catalunya Catalonia Square to the Christopher Columbus Monument at the seafront. Popular with tourists because of its market stalls, bars and restaurants, Barcelona City Council restricted traffic flow because of heavy pedestrian use of the street. Europe's deadly vehicle attacks Paris. The 9th of August 2017 a man rammed a BMW into a group of soldiers, injuring six. London. The 19th of June 2017 a man is killed in a van attack on Muslims outside a mosque in Finsbury Park. London, the 3rd of June 2017 Eight people died when three jihadists drove a van into pedestrians on London Bridge and then stabbed passersby. Stockholm, Sweden, the 7th of April 2017 Uzbek Rachmatik Kilov killed four people when he drove a lorry into a department store. London, the 22nd of March 2017 Four people died when a car rammed into pedestrians on Westminster Bridge, and the driver then stabbed to death a policeman. Berlin, Germany, the 19th of December 2016, Tunisian Anna Samre ploughed a truck into a Christmas market at Breitscheidplatz, killing 12 people. Nice, France, the 14th of July 2016, Tunisian Mohamed Lahore Aboudil drove a truck into crowds on the Promenade des Anglais, killing 86 people on Bastille Day. France, December 2014 A van was driven into a Christmas market in Nantes and a car rammed pedestrians in Dijon, leaving more than 20 wounded. Are you in the area? Did you witness what happened? If it's safe to do so, you can share your experience by emailing haveyoursay at bbc.co.uk. Please include a contact number if you are willing to speak to a BBC journalist. You can also contact us in the following ways WhatsApp 447555173285 Send pictures video to your pics at bbc.co.uk Upload your pictures video here Tweet at bbc underscore have your say text an SMS or MMS to 61124 UK 447624800 100 international